there is no denying that the Ryzen 9 3900X is one of the best processors available in the market. If you are looking to game or do something productive, this is a great processor as it gets the job done, and you will not have any problems whatsoever that could potentially come in the way. You can look at the best motherboard for Ryzen 9 3900X, there are countless options available in the market, and buying the right one can be a challenge, quite simply because you are not sure about what you should be going for or what you should be ignoring. For now, in this video, we want to look at the best options that are available for. Therefore, you do not run into any problems as far as the overall experience is concerned. The moment you can buy the right motherboard, you can look at this list. To get more information on any of these products, check out the links in the description box below for more information, and don't forget to subscribe to Gaming Gadgets Geek's YouTube channel. Starting our list with the SUS ROG Strix X570E Gaming ATX Motherboard. The first motherboard we have on the list is from ASUS, and specifically from their Strix lineup, which means that you are getting a pretty good deal for the price you are paying. The Strix lineup has always been the sweet spot for those who want to enjoy a good performance, but at the same time, they don't want to pay a lot of money. For starters, the option that I am talking about is the ASUS ROG Strix X570E, and it is one of the more affordable motherboards available in the market, and that is why people are buying it. For anyone who is looking for a good motherboard, this is it. For starters, you are getting a lot of USB 3 Gen 2 ports than some of the other options available in the market. The motherboard is also of excellent quality when you are talking about overclocking, and the 2.5 GB plus gigabit Ethernet is great for connectivity, and the motherboard also has Wi-Fi 6 support. At the same time, the motherboard brings a great value of money, so if you are looking to get this motherboard over the competition, you will be able to save some money. The downside here is that the motherboard is only coming with dual M2 slots, and more importantly, the efficiency is slightly below average, but nothing that will break the deal. If you are looking for a motherboard that manages to give a decent performance and does not cost a lot of money, then the Strix X570E is a great option that you could be going for. It does not cost a lot of money, and it actually gives an outstanding performance too. At number 2 it's Gigabyte X570 Aris Stream. Gigabyte has been doing some pretty amazing things as far as their motherboards and other high-end components are concerned. We have been using their offerings for some time now, and I can tell you that, if you want performance, you are going to get it. With that said, the Gigabyte X570 Aris stream is the one we are looking at today, and it is quite simply one of the finest options that you can buy. Granted, it is one of the highest-end offerings, but at least you are getting a motherboard that leaves no stone unturned in terms of the overall performance. The Aris Dream offers best-in-class VRM, which means that dialing in stable overclocks is an absolute breeze. Additionally, you are getting 10 gigabit LAN and networking to ensure that you are never left behind as far as your internet usage is concerned. Thankfully, Gigabyte has opted for a much better passive cooling which means that there is no pesky chipset fan that is going to come in the way. As far as any issues are concerned, I am hard pressed to find any, that is how good this motherboard is. Gigabyte has hit it out of the park with their Aris stream. If you are looking for a no compromises motherboard, then the Gigabyte X570 Aris stream is something that you should look into. It is something that is going to help you with outstanding performance, and you will not have to worry about anything that could give you a problem. For those who are looking for performance, this motherboard is something that will deliver the best possible performance, and at the same time, it is going to look incredible while doing so. Which is what most of us are always going to look for in a good component. At number 3 it's a SUS ROG X570 Crosshair 8 formula. There is no overlooking the fact that we have seen some impressive hardware from a SUS over the past couple of years. Whether you are talking about their graphic cards, their motherboards, or even their power supplies or monitors, ASUS has always been the top player in the industry. The ASUS ROG X570 Crosshair VE formula is a testament to what ASUS can do as far as their imagination allows them, creating a no-nonsense, no-compromise motherboard that honestly seems a bit absurd as well. Now, right off the bat, I can tell you that this motherboard is made for enthusiasts, you can see that by the fact that there is a water cooling block on the VRM that is implemented by EKWB. However, that does not mean that you can only use this motherboard if you want to water cool everything. Still, if you are looking for performance, looks, and rock-solid stability, I doubt you can do better than this motherboard. 
It has loads of connectivity, including the latest PCIe 4.0 for the higher bandwidth storage and everything else that you would want in between. The performance is great throughout. The ASUS exclusive features make this motherboard an absolute treat to use, and you really will not find yourself in a situation disliking this motherboard. Honestly, I cannot find any faults in this motherboard, mainly how good it is. The price, yes, that is one thing to keep in mind that, but that should not come in the way of how good everything else is. The ASUS ROG X570 Crosshair VE formula is not something that you can just buy without thinking. You need to put some thought into this motherboard, but once you do get it, it is worth every single penny, and it will deliver the best possible performance you can opt for. The motherboard is not going to disappoint as far as the performance is concerned. At number 4 it's Gigabyte X570 Aris Elite. It is not often that everyone is looking to get the highest-end motherboard possible. Simply put, some people are looking for affordable options too, and there is nothing wrong with that as we have a list that has some more affordable options too. So if you are in the market for that, we have got you covered. The Gigabyte X570 Aris Elite is just that, an affordable option that delivers pretty good performance for the price you are paying. You truly will not have any issues as far as the price of this motherboard is concerned and the relevant performance it manages to deliver. With that said, the low price is the star of the show here, and not just that, for a lower price, Gigabyte has given you an integrated IOA shield, as well as a heatsink on the primary M2 slot. While the rest of the looks are also pretty good, so you are not losing money here on anything. As far as the actual stability and performance are concerned, even those are great for the standard you are paying, and there are not any deal-breaking issues going on here. Sadly, Gigabyte had to cut some corners for the price to stay down, as the motherboard does not have any debug LED or Type-C port on the rear IOA, but everything is there if you are looking for it. In simpler words, the Gigabyte X570 Aris Elite is the motherboard that you should be getting if you are on a budget and you are looking for a good option, because it gives you the performance that you want without costing a lot of money. At number 5 it's MSI Meg X570 Ace Motherboard. If you are looking for a good motherboard from MSI, you will not be disappointed, because regardless of your budget, they have been giving us some great options without breaking the bank. However, if you want to spend more money, you can easily do that, too, and get something great. That is why we have the MSI Meg X570 Ace Motherboard for review, and not something else that is on the affordable side, but I can tell you that if you are looking for something great, this motherboard will not disappoint you in any way. For those who want to have great networking, you are getting access to 2.5 GB plus Gigabit Ethernet with Wi-Fi 6. Another great thing is that the motherboard runs all three PCIe and M2 slots at the same time, and the DRAM overclocking on this motherboard is great, as well. The PCH heat pipe does a great job at allowing for better thermals overall, so you do not have to worry about getting something that is not going to deliver on that front. Sadly, at the time of writing, only a single PCIe X1 slot can be used, and the USB 3G N2 front panel header is on the bottom edge, which is a bit difficult to connect properly. If you are searching for a good motherboard from MSI, then going with the MSI Meg X570 Ace motherboard is not going to disappoint you at all. During my time with this motherboard, I have come to realize that it is one of the better performing options available, and you will get pretty good performance if you are looking for it. We are finally done with looking at all the best motherboards available in the market. However, do keep in mind that the reason why we decided to go with a smaller number of options is that we are trying to help the readers make the right decision, rather than going for something that they have little understanding about. That is also the reason that we have added motherboards from several price brackets, so people do not end up getting confused as to what they want to get and what they want to avoid. This is only going to make things easier for everyone. Just be sure that you are making the right decision as to what motherboard you are going to get. With so much to choose from, getting confused is a very simple and straightforward process, and the more careful you are, the better, in general, it is going to be overall.